So my name is Eric Christensen. I'm the general manager of Mercury Racing. Mercury, just as in general, Mercury Racing, Mercury High Performance before that, uh, has been involved with offshore racing for, for decades, you know, probably even going back before Mercury Racing was officially a separate unit. Um, you know, Carl Kiefer, you know, was involved with offshore racing back in the, you know, 50s. The QC4 is, uh, stands for quad cam four valve, and uh, it basically started uh, to try to fix the, uh, the Achilles heel of the big block engine. You know, up to you know probably 700, 750 horsepower. You know, a standard big block and its valve train are are just fine. Uh, but as you start stepping the power up, uh, it's one of the things we learned with some of our previous product offerings is that the valve train. No matter uh, how much uh, effort and money you put into it, uh, was always sort of the weak link. And so the uh, the goal was to try to improve efficiency and uh, and durability of the engine by adding uh, four valves per cylinder and a very very stiff valve train that's a finger follower actuated direct overhead cam. So there's an incredible amount of efficiency and power, you know, through turbocharging. So you're recovering the waste energy and and uh, and using that waste energy to uh, to produce the boost that the engine requires versus having to create all that energy via the crankshaft you know for a typical supercharged system so uh, we end up with better fuel economy better emissions um, and there's a whole lot of things that you can do with a four valve combustion system that you can't with a with a two valve it leaves you a lot of freedoms our first year out with it racing uh, uh, was with bob and uh, he won the championship that year so um, we've had a long history with uh, CMS and uh, their racing efforts and uh, uh, and of course MTI who is uh, heavily involved with with them and uh, it's, a, it's a good partnership and we've learned a lot together and uh, uh, that's sort of what started it and then since then uh, you know sort of the field has slowly been expanding and now I think you know most of the field are, is, is powered by 1650s.